Running guided math workstations successfully means knowing how to handle students who are going to pace much faster than the rest of the group, otherwise known as fast finishers. Today, let's take a look at six things we can do for our fast finishers. Before students get to visit the expert tubs, they know that they will have um, proven themselves to be an expert mathematician for that particular station. All expectations have been met high quality work, work the whole time, show your stamina. All of our expectations that I teach for procedures, those have been met and now they require extra. So for that, I call them expert tubs because I want to reinforce that they are an expert mathematician right now and that this is a priority or a privilege or a challenge for them. And it's not just something like a fast finisher. I don't like that term because it implies that I have to fa be fast and hurry. Um, so that's why I've chosen to call them expert tubs. So I have six here that I'm going to share and um, they are going to strengthen different parts of the um, math standards. So this first one is all about building up um, students' accuracy and fluency with skip counting and then um, counting multiples for upper grades. So students will begin with just um, counting up and back in different number ranges by one. Then they graduate to do their twos, fives, and tens and memorizing those. Students also test out with me and track throughout the whole year um, their different skip counting rules. So for my K to two crowd, actually my K one, we're gonna do one, two, five, and 10 before we ever even think about going to our threes. Um, most don't need that. But for my twos and up, my second grade and up, then this is more open. Now, along with that, I also have uh, math maps in here, and it's going to reinforce that same type of thinking. So beginning with, and I have many, many of these different versions, different um, levels. So this first one is skip count by five. Students always begin here and end here. So they will be finding a math path where it skip counts by five, systematically to get to 150. And so it's gonna have all different paths to go to get to that final square. This one here is sums of six. That means that I can only highlight and move if I can find a sum of six. And so I have to make my way again down to that final square. And again, there's many of those. So that reinforces that same line of thinking. That one is, um, there's two in there. One is math maps and one is called skip counting multiples. And I'll have all these links for you at the end. Okay, our next expert tub. This is a popular one. This one is called brain train. For the examples on these, I've prepped second grade, but I have many different grade levels, so no worries there. Um, and since we're showing this from the beginning, we'll do place value. So these are basically math dominoes and you get one for each math strand for your grade level, K to five, depending. Um, and students know that the first domino is the one with the star. They would shuffle them up and deal them with a partner, or if they don't have a partner, they can do them by themselves. So they get on the floor and they have to get rid of their dominoes first. So this will be the final answer. And I'm gonna start here with seven tens, nine ones. So my partner and I will see if we have 79 and we start building the math dominoes or the brain train. Three ones, I am going to place that domino. 6,111, so I'm looking for any representation that's gonna show me that. 700s, I tried to put these somewhat in order, but I guess they've gotten mixed up since. Um, so students would look through and try to find that. I'm not gonna waste our time on this video, but it's going to end, unfold until the entire thing reconnects. One player will be done with their cards first, or if it's one player, they will just have to find all the matches. 
So I only prepped three for this example. Um, this one is missing subtrahends and addends with addition and subtraction. And then this one is um, different fraction models and matching the fraction. So those are called brain train. Next, we have another popular one. And all of these are in our regular stations at some point in an, or another until they become expert tubs. So students know what to do. They just might have um, different content plugged in. Again, I prepped second grade, showing second grade the love today. Um, I prepped three different puzzles. This one is um, sums and differences. This one is missing number patterns. And then this one is just telling time. So I will do the missing uh, or the sums and differences first. So students take their cards and they pick a piece and then they solve 10 minus five and they place it on the answer. And the result will be a picture nine plus five, 14. The puzzles are self-checking because the picture will make sense if done correctly. Here we have six minus five. I'm gonna cover the one and so on. And so I just keep going until my puzzle's complete. Seven plus five, 12, and so on. So you get the idea. It's going to make a butterfly picture. And those are great because they're self-checking. Now with grades um, four and five, the puzzle pieces will be much more difficult as far as like what it looks like. So they won't be able to know exactly where to place them. Um, and it, it it's grade level appropriate for the difficulty. And then you get 26 puzzles for your grade level. So many different math skills to have them practicing all through the year. All right, let's hope that doesn't knock over. I'm gonna send it over here. Next, this is my favorite. Um, math tac -toe. This is great to send home for homework, but I also love it in an expert time because it's so differentiated. So there are 27 different math tac -toe boards. Um, and let's see, I'm going to show you subtraction. So for each math strand, I have three levels. So I can differentiate this for whatever students I have going to expert tubs. Um, and that's great because it keeps students challenged no matter what level they are. You can obviously just print these on black and white and save your colored paper. I like to actually print on color, laminate, and then they can write right on it. And they know up here it says they can do a tic-tac-toe or they can do a blackout. So that's called math tac toe And again, you get 27 different math tac toe boards. The next one is for my kiddos who love extra credit. It's just math printables, all different strands and um, things I want them to focus on. So it's really just extra credit paper. They will get a stamp, a sticker, a smiley. It really is just to appeal to those kiddos who love that sort of work. It it drives them and I used to be one of those students so that's why I know they exist and they live to show how much extra credit they can do. Um, I, I sometimes do a stapled little packet that they keep in their math folder um, or other times it's single sheets like I just showed you. Um, these particular sheets came out of my standard practice line but any type of um, math skill page would be perfect. And then our final one, this is a, a freebie that I put out a few weeks ago called Fast Finishers Freebie. Um, and it's going to give you a few different things you can do with your Fast Finishers. This first little half sheet here, again, you can print on black and white. You would put a math problem in and you could do different levels of differentiation. And students have to go through six steps of showing that particular problem that you gave. Choice board would just make sure you have these different choices available. And then students could go to a choice in the room. This one is math in a box. So they do one, two, three, or all four boxes. 
Math creation, I love for those students who love to um, share. So they will do um, the four boxes and then teach it back to the class. So they get to be the expert mathematician. And I use this one for a closing sometimes to let them do their teaching or their sharing. Four square math is another great one where you put the problem in so you can differentiate it and then they go through the steps of solving. So that's in the Fast Finisher freebie. And again, I will link all of these for you. Everything that I talked about today for Expert Tubs will be linked for you. You can also find it on my website, Tunstall's Teaching Tidbits, under the Fast Finishers Expert Tubs blog post. And you can always reach out to me online. So hopefully this helps you fill up and keep momentum strong for your expert mathematicians.